Hey guys, it's Shay from Polygon Motion and welcome back to another exciting tutorial. Now we are in tip number 10 of After Effects. Uh, it is tip, uh, these tips are uh, from SK and After Effects, but now we are at uh, After Effects tips and uh, I'm going to talk about live text from After Effects to Premiere. It is a very nice feature uh, in the latest update of After Effects CC 2017 and Premiere Pro is that you can change text, you can change the source text uh, of your material, of your composition, of your After Effects composition actually, on Premiere without rendering that, without going to After Effects itself. And that is very, very cool. Uh, I found this um, very useful if you are uh, if you w want to deliver your uh, project or composition to a video editor who are not familiar to uh, After Effects itself and they can't uh, open the project file and then changing the, the very complex and they can change complex things on uh, or, or changing the text or, or maybe even uh, they, they want to change them very easily without going to uh, After Effects. So now it is it's, it's possible. Let me show you how. If I go to Premiere now, uh, you see in here I have a very nice uh, title and I have imported that using uh, using uh, the the dynamic link server to Premiere, and now I have that without rendering that, without uh, um, doing any other things. Now I have that project, that composition uh, in my uh, uh, Premiere, and if I select this, now in Effect Control there is a tab called After Effect Editable Text. And now you see that I have these source text and I can change them. For example, let me change this to uh, YouTube. And now you see that the text has changed itself to YouTube in here without doing any other things. And I can change Polygon to, for example, Udemy. And now you see that it's changing instantly without doing any other things or rendering that. And you see that my uh, text is goes off to the screen. It is it's it's uh, uh, normal because you uh, when you uh, create the, uh, these titles on After Effects, you have to put uh, a space to the character, and you have to know which characters goes on. And uh, you can control those kind of things as well in uh, Premiere, but you can control the source text and color uh, as well if you create a uh, color uh, controller. But in this tutorial, I'm going to sh show you how to export those composition to After Effects and change that. So let me uh, start from scratch and lead this, and I'm going to After Effects. And by selecting your uh, composition and going to composition, there is a tab called Export Composition as Text Template, and it's available just on After Effects CC 2017, not on older version. If I click in here, uh, it pops me to uh, browse the folder. I'm uh, saving that in just type titles 01 and save that. So now all the things is saved and simply without doing any other things I have to open my uh, Premiere and create a new se sequence and Command uh, I or Control Y on PC and select your title 01 and this title is an extension of AE cap or CAP that is called After Effects uh, Composition or Fixed Composition th things like that whatever it whatever it is, uh, it's not important, but when you, see, when you see these kind of extension, it means that you can uh, change the text uh, live in Arrow Premiere. Just import that and choose your composition. If you have a different composition, you can change and select that, but I have just one composition. I uh, choose Tile and click OK. Now you have all the things right inside of your sequence. So. Now, mm, if I select this and go to Effect Control and go to Tile in here, I can change the tile. It's in here, for example, just whatever you want. And it's instantly change those tile without uh, interrupting or without any further distraction. So, 
I found this very useful, very uh, short trick and very useful trick. And hope you guys enjoy from this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe uh, uh, to Polygon Motion uh, YouTube channel if you want to be updated with After Effects new tricks, with UI and UX design tricks and tips and motion graphics and this stuff. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and put your comments below. And my name is Uchiro and see you guys next time.